There are 35 collectibles to discover in Senua's Saga Hellblade 2, split into 18 Loristan gear, which are the wood posts with red symbols on them, and 17 faces, which reveal secret paths that lead to trees. All of the collectibles are there to give you some lore to the story, and of course two different achievements to unlock Glimpses of God and Tales of Midgard. Now there is no map, so it is important to watch the clip first so you don't go too far ahead in the story, as you can easily miss these collectibles. However, unlike the first game, Chapter Select is available for you to replay and pick up any that you miss. Let's get to the first one, and instead of Loristan gear, I'm going to refer to them as wooden posts or posts, just to make it a little bit easier. Post 1 is found during the prologue, it's easy to see when walking around, and I'm not sure you can actually miss this one. Post 2 next to the stone huts at the start of the game in the next chapter after the prologue. The next post is after the first rune gate, after exiting the house with the Freya Skeleton altar, you can head around the back and you will find the post there. The first tree, which is behind the stone face, is again in the exact same area after the Freya Skeleton Altar. The next post is after walking across the long ledge and dropping down and then heading left up a ladder. The next tree is left of the bridge after rescuing Fargramir, and it turns to day. Next we have a post head left to the fork in the road just before Fargramir's village. The next tree is at the start of the next section, turn left at the bottom of the hill. Next we have a tree, head back and go left instead to find a tree. From here you can then find a post nearby.
at the start of the next chapter after climbing out of a cave next to the house. Drop down the platform and the ladder and walk around the path and you'll eventually come to a fork in the road and you will find the next tree. After two stone ball puzzle, or the stone altar puzzle, you will find it just on the path that you unlock just to the right. Head left just before going under a small stone arch to find the next post. After the second stone ball puzzle, drop down and climb up on the right, in the area where all the water is. From the last tree, walk past some water and take a left through some rocks and you will find the next post. Finally in this area, from the last post, walk forward and look for a cave on the right hand side. Next we have a post which is found during the puzzle where you drain the lake. Next we have a tree, after draining the lake and entering the cave as soon as you start crouching, look left. In the cave, drop down three ledges and turn right to find the post. Don't let the torch die. If the 
light goes out, we will be lost here forever. Next, we have a tree directly behind the second blue torch or brazier. Follow the light. Don't stop now. A tree, which can be found after dropping down the hole into the water, you can look directly behind you. The next post is after the blue light brazier puzzle. Walk along a narrow edge and you can see it across the way. After exiting the dark where you must follow the light in the cave, you will find a tree. She's close now. The last post in the cave is just before the last trial. Next we have a tree when you're back on earth at the first waterfall. There's also a post above the waterfall you can walk around and up in order to reach it. A tree in the next rainy section just before squeezing through the gap. Next we have a post. After walking a while you will come across a more open grassy area. Head right and under the rocks to find the post. A tree is found after the next blocked gate puzzle or rune gate puzzle. You'll find a post and a tree during the third red rune gate puzzle.
Finally, we have three things to find in this village here. A post at the very end in the village. There is a path that splits into two, one with a torch. But if you head left there, you'll find a post. Just after this post, behind a house, is the final tree. Men here. Lastly, from here, head all the way back, and then there is one tree that you will find on the left. I didn't pick these up in order, but this is the final one. Alright, thank you for watching this guide video all the way through. Like and share the video if it was useful to you. I appreciate it. And subscribe if you need help with future games like the Elden Ring DLC, which is the next one I'm covering. But until then, I will see you next time. Bye.